Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look inside Joe Rogan's insane net worth in 2022. Let's get right into it. Joe Rogan's wildly popular podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, was first made available on Spotify two years ago, and by the time it launched, it had already sparked a lot of controversy in its first few weeks on the music streaming platform. In May 2020, Spotify announced that the Joe Rogan Experience, which had previously been released on Rogan's YouTube channel for nearly 11 years after its initial release, would be available on Spotify beginning September 1st, and would become exclusive to the platform later that year. When reached by Business Insider in May, a Spotify spokesperson declined to comment on the financial details of the deal, but a source told the Wall Street Journal at the time that the multi-year licensing agreement was worth up to $100 million based on the podcast's performance metrics and other factors. Spotify shares increased by 11% following the announcement of the deal. According to Business Insider, Rogan's podcast has been the most searched podcast on Spotify since at least early 2019, despite the fact that it was not yet available on the platform. In 2019, Rogan was the highest paid podcaster in the world. Over the years, Rogan has hosted high-profile CEOs, politicians, and actors, including Tesla CEO Elon Musk, Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, former presidential candidate Senator Bernie Sanders, actor Robert Downey Jr., comedian and actor Kevin Hart, and right-wing conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. Originally from Newark, New Jersey, Rogan had a somewhat nomadic childhood. When he was five, his parents divorced, and he and his mother moved to San Francisco in Florida before settling in Newton, Massachusetts. Rogan began participating martial arts at the age of 13, calling it the best decision he ever made in my entire life in a 2014 interview with SB Nation. He then said, Martial arts gave me not just confidence, but also a different perspective of myself and what I was capable of. I knew that I could do something I was terrified of and that was really difficult and that I could excel at it. It was a big deal for me. Rogan also taught martial arts at Boston University, drove limousines, did some construction work, and even worked as a driver for a private investigator who had his license revoked after a DUI, according to Rogan's podcast. In 1994, Rogan relocated to Los Angeles and landed his first major acting role in the Fox sitcom Hardball. From 1995 to 1999, he also appeared in the NBC sitcom News Radio. When the show was briefly revived in 2011, he returned to host the seventh and final season of Fear Factor. Although Rogan made tons of money from his TV career, he said it didn't give him the same satisfaction as stand-up comedy. He said, I did come back in 2011. I came back, but I didn't have as much money back then. And also, it was a lot more money than I got the first time. He then added, It was a big deal that it was going to come back, but I immediately regretted it. Like, immediately. Like, oh my god, I have a job again. In the late 1990s, Rogan began working for the UFC, doing backstage and post-fight interviews for the martial arts promotion company. He began doing commentary in 2002. Rogan has interviewed some of the industry's biggest fighters and played a significant role in propelling the sport to where it stands today. UFC president Dana White told Rolling Stone magazine in 2015, he's educated more people in mixed martial arts than anybody ever. He then added, he's the best fight announcer who has ever called a fight in the history of fighting. He later said on his podcast that it was a racist thing for me to say, but added that it wasn't a negative experience. Rogan launched his podcast in December 2009. Today, the Joe Rogan experience consistently ranks at the top of Apple's top 100 podcasts. As Devin Gordon wrote for The Atlantic in 2019, Rogan is particularly particularly appealing to many American men. Gordon wrote, Rogan is a tireless optimist, grab life by the throat and bite out its esophagus kind of guy. And many, many men respond to that. Gordon then wrote, I responded to that. The competitive energy, the drive to succeed, the search for purpose, for self-respect, get better every day, master your domain. But Rogan has faced his fair share of controversy, from hosting Sandy Hook denier Alex Jones on his podcast, twice, to comparing a black neighborhood to Planet of the Apes. In one of his 2013 podcast episodes, Rogan discussed going to see one of the Planet of the Apes movies and describing the neighborhood where he saw the movie as Planet of the Apes. Rogan said, We walked into Planet of the Apes. Rogan then said, We walked into Africa. We walked in the door. And there were no white people. There were no white people. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Joe Rogan's net worth in 2022 is estimated at around $100 million. Rogan's podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, recently sold the exclusive rights to Spotify for a whopping $100 million. Prior to the deal, the podcast was uploaded on his channel, Powerful JRE, which has 12.8 million subscribers. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.